everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some project shares for Scrap Diva Designs. As you may know, I am guest designing for Erica for this month, July, and I have a few projects that I wanted to share with you using some of those dies. I will link uh, the website down below, the dies that I used. Uh, I have a coupon code too if you want to use that at checkout. It's strawberry cream and you'll get 10 or sorry, 10% off of your order of $10 or more. And also I have a referral link too if you click on that to get to the website and place an order. I do get a commission so uh, it doesn't cost anything extra. It just helps me and my channel out. So thank you so much for everybody who uses that. And I'm looking forward to showing you the, the projects that I made, some cute summary things. And I like I said, I used uh, two of the die sets. So let me show you the die sets that I used. This one is the Beach Ball mini album. So it comes with all of these dies. And it's a really nice big size. I love this die. This is the, the main, well, the design piece of the beach ball and it cuts out three different sections. So I'll show you that in a second, but it, it's really nice and big. You can use it for lots of different um, applications, not just a mini album. And then it comes with the outer circle ring. It's nice to have a huge circle like this in your stash. And then another big one, this is slightly smaller though, and it's stitched. Uh, a good layering piece for your mini album. And then it comes with two bathing suits that you can layer up if you want to, which I did, I'll show you that. And a cute little bow too. And it also comes with two surfboards, also you can layer these, and then a beach umbrella. And then the next die set I, die set I used is called Summer Words 2. So it comes with six different words with shadows. It comes with sunshine, fishing, ice cream, picnic, cocktails and surfing. So um, I used most of them in one of my projects and I'll, uh, yeah, let's get started. I'll show you what I made. So the first thing I made was actually not a mini album. I made a card. I love to use mini album dies as cards. So this is what I made and it's really shiny if you could see that. I used um, Cricut craft board. A lot of people ask me where I get this. It's from Amazon. Um, it's kind of expensive now. It used to be like $8, now it's like $23. But if you do a search for holographic Cricut um, craft board, I think it's called, um, you can, you'll find this. So yeah, so I made this into a card. And the way I did that was I took a piece of paper and folded it in half. And then if you take the outer piece and then let me show you, I've, I've demoed this before, but let me show you it now. If you take a piece of paper, fold it in half, one that's big enough for your die like this, and then place your die over it and leave a little bit of space at the top so it doesn't cut the fold. You don't want to leave too much or else it distorts the shape of the circle, but you know, just enough so it will uh, open without, um, you know, while it has a fold there. So that's what I did. That's how I make them into cards, very easy. So I did that with um, this white paper, as you can see, and it left a little fold here for the inside. So the inside, I added one of the stitched dies to add a layering piece, and I used some striped paper so it'd be easy to write on. I used a little crab die cut that I had in my stash. But the cutest part, I think, is the front. So again, I used the different papers of the, the Cricut papers for the beach ball. And um, yeah, so I paper pieced those pieces and very easy to do to paper piece this project. And then um, I cut out this paper here that looks like sand, um, just like the bottom part with the, with the round die. And then I had this like, um, edge die in my stash and I just put that on the, the top of that sand kind of paper just to make it look like um, sand and then glued that on. And then there's the word sunshine from the new die set and uh, one of the surfboards I just left just the solid die, the one that looks like this, this one here. And then this one I um, layered on top of each other, this one and that one. So. Um, I just think they look cute that way. And then I embossed, or I stamped and heat embossed the word hello there. So it would say hello sunshine. That comes from a stamp set I had in my stash. The beach umbrella I cut out twice and then just cut off the, the pole 
of the um, the stripe paper and then glued that on top of the silver one that I cut out so it would look like the umbrella had a silver pole. And uh, I cut the word sunshine out of some yellow glitter paper and then the shadow piece out of just plain white paper. And I had this die in my stash for the crabs and just popped them up a little bit. I popped all of the uh, surfboard and the umbrella on uh, uh, foam tape as well. So just to give it a little dimension. And I think this is such a cute card, right? So that's my first project. Let me measure this for you. It's nice and big. You can do lots of decorating on these. This is about five and an eighth. So I guess that's a circle. So yeah, or five and a quarter. So yeah, that's my first one. Hope you like it. And then I did make a mini album out of it too, just because, you know, it's a mini album die. And I decided to make it into a shaker because you can do that if you cut this out of um, your... Uh, printed paper and out of your foam as well. And then I used this piece to cut out the background and the acetate, so it worked out fine. So I did make a shaker for the cover, and I used, these papers that I used are mostly from Joann's from the new travel paper pad that I got recently. Um, and then look at that bathing suit. Isn't that cute? That comes from this die set. Oh, I just love it. So I layered it up as you could see and it leaves a little bit of like navy blue or royal blue peeking out from the back. And uh, I added a little gold bow there that I used the die for because the papers have some gold foiling on them and I wanted it to match. So yeah, I made it into a shaker and it was really easy to do. I don't think it's, um, you know, necessarily made for a shaker, but there are some thin parts like right on the edge of the, those cutout pieces, but it wasn't hard to do to make it into a shaker. Um, I use Dollar Tree foam board, which I, I usually use for my foam layer and that does not warp. So it keeps its shape even when you're, you know, putting glue on it and then gluing all the layers together. So it was really easy to do. And it gives you a nice big section to add a lot of shaker bits. I added some like pineapples and mermaids and some really big circles that I don't normally get a chance to use. Some butterflies, some regular sequins. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really, really cute. I added um, an eyelet with a crocodile and then a binder ring that I got recently. And I also added a whole bunch of ribbons, which you guys know I love to make these ribbon bundles to put on my mini albums, just using the colors from the um, paper that I used. And I just, you know, went to my stash and found a bunch of ribbons. So let me show you the inside. It's not complete because I haven't added the pictures yet. So once I do that, I'll probably add some more embellishments, but I'll show you what I have so far. It's really easy to put together. I just made the front, the beach ball shaker, and the inside is just the uh, um, base and the layering pieces. So the inside page looks like this. Well, the first inside page. And I used one of those summer words too on each page. This one says cocktails. And then I added a piece of vellum that's three by three. I don't know if you could see that. And then some photo corners around that. Um, my photo printer prints out three inch square photos. So once we get back from vacation, I intend to print some out and put them here. And then on the um, back page, I'm going to be putting some journaling. So very simple, each page looks very similar. I also layered it with a little bit of chipboard, well, one layer of chipboard that's um, thin that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance recently. So just to make the pages a little sturdy. And then this is the next page, again, the vellum with the photo corners. This word says surfing from the die set. And then instead of journaling, I just added a little um, cut out right there or cut apart. So you could still add some journaling. There's a lot of blank white space there. And then this is the next page. I just love these little beachy prints. And this is sunshine from the die set, which I've used several times already in different projects. So, and uh, yeah, just a little checklist, but you know, that could be for journaling. And then this page says ice cream, which I think is super cute right there. I, I'm assuming that we're going to go out for ice cream while we're away. So I'm thinking a picture of that would look good there. I added this little uh, die cut or cut apart of a pool that journaling can go on. And then this is the back cover, which I didn't add anything to, but I'll just leave that blank. Probably maybe put my um, stamp there for my um, logo. So yeah, super easy to come together. Again, I just punched holes with my crocodile on every page and added eyelets with that. It's just 
the way I usually like to do mini albums, it's easy and you know keeps it versatile. If I find that I need more pages, I could always make some more and add this, add them to this ring. There's plenty of room. This is a one and three quarter inch binder ring. So um, yeah, that's my other project for today. And then I want to show you one more word that I could not fit into my mini album yet, and that's fishing. We're probably not going fishing, so that's why I left this one out. But yeah, they're a really nice size. Let me just give you an idea of the size of these. This is about two and three eighths inches long, and top to bottom, it's uh, not even three quarters of an inch. Well, yeah, actually a little more than three quarters of an inch when you're using the shadow piece. So great for cards, embellishments. It's not too big, not too small. I really like this size. So those are my projects for today. I hope you like them. Again, the dies will be listed down below. I had a lot of fun making these projects. I love doing summer crafting, all the pretty bright colors, and it's just, you know, very nice and cheerful. So um, yeah, again, my referral link will be down below as well as my coupon code, which is strawberry cream. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Take care everyone, bye.